Age of 21 um, is something difficult to describe um, you know, to someone who's not been in it or participated in it with the feeling that you have. Um, but I think it's really um, the best way is it's an incredible, diverse sort of network um, of people where because of common experiences and where they've been or the things that they've achieved, there's a level of intimacy that's created amongst you know, a wide group of people from all over the world, different sort of backgrounds, um, which is something that you know, is an incredible space where you learn a lot, you have a time to share a lot, and um, you know, it's like a, f like a family. When I first um, participated in Asia 21 you know, as a network, this was in 2006, I mean, I thought that this was just another leadership sort of forum where people get together once a year and then you don't really keep in touch or it never really goes anywhere. Well, from here, I mean, I've, I've, for me personally also, there's been a lot of things that I've been able to collaborate with people on, you know, areas of common interest, um, you know, which are close to one's heart, you know, both geographically or thematically, and also participate in things which may not have been on one's sort of screen or, you know, one never really thought of, but other people were able to pull us in, you know, to help out. In. And so it, it ended up becoming something which is an incredibly sort of close sort of network, um, and it really, uh, it's very active. And I think members within it are working on various subsets across um, the world. And it's your next generation of leadership in Asia. And that sort of connectivity and relationship amongst them is something I think that will benefit the entire region going forward. The class before me is um, the current um, prime minister in exile uh, for Tibet, uh, is, you know, is in the class. Uh, we have in Indonesia one of my another one of my classmates who's somebody who's now on the Asia on the trustees board on the global board you know someone who's been a mover and shaker in the financial world uh, in Indonesia in a large way in Mongolia we've had a minister of mines um, in in India we have you know someone like Barka Dutt who has I think on Twitter her following is something ridiculous like nine hundred thousand people um, Nader Nadri who sort of in this last Afghan election was heading an organization where they had ten thousand monitors. Um, you know, not to mention, you know, Saad Mosseni, who's, of course, you know, leading the way in media over there. In Pakistan, we've had, you know, an Oscar award-winning, uh, you know, filmmaker in Sharmeen, um, you know, Obed Chinoy. Um, so it's an, it's an incredible, incredible sort of group. There are people, one, another one of my classmates from Singapore, um, Aaron, has been working with the Singapore government very closely, looking at what would it look like in the next 50 years, the world, and what does it mean for Singapore? So it's it's... And an artist, uh, another uh, an artist we had from from Myanmar, uh, in our class, someone that we never really would have had the opportunity to interact with. So it's a very very diverse group of people in terms of impact of Asia Twenty One on the strategic dialogue between you know India Pakistan as well as Pakistan Afghanistan as well as some of the work that's been done with China China and Taiwan. Um, there's um, there's a different perspective that's brought to this. I mean, you have a diverse group of younger people who have their own networks and relationships and things that they've been working on. And collectively, it, they can really play a role in trying to bring together or address sometimes trust deficit or you know issues of concern which the government-to-government -government relationship is not able to address. And because it's such a wide variety, we're talking media, we're talking government, we're talking you know civil society, um, having that wide spectrum of people that are part of this really give you the ability to develop those people-to-people -people ties in some of these countries. Apart from that, for leadership, it's, I think, sometimes a very lonely place. It's a place where you really don't have time, a place, you know, where you can really share some experiences and it's difficult for others to understand, you know, if they haven't been in a similar position. So it's almost like a little, you know, self-help group or a place where everyone can sort of collectively be themselves and share experiences and the vulnerabilities and some of the issues that have been faced and learn from each other's experiences and be that sort of support, you know, that you may not find in your normal group of friends. So I think that's something that also inspires as well as it's a humbling experience for all of the people who are members of the Age of 21 family. Every time I felt, um, you know, really, uh, you know, struggling with something. I mean, another one of my uh, classmates, you know, who's from uh, Iran, um, had a, a very rough time and was in an Iranian prison with his brother um, for a long period of time. And after he came out, I had a chance to interact with him and he was telling me his story and how being in that difficult situation, he still had such a positive frame of mind and was doing so many incredible things in prison while he was there. And it makes one realize that, you know, the silly little things that, keep, that bring one down 
um, you know, when you when you compare it with some of the other people, I mean, it's just nowhere in comparison, and that's something that keeps you going even in times when you know things are difficult. But on another note, I mean, with our former chairperson, the late Ambassador Holbrook, being the SRAP in Afghanistan, and Pakistan, I had an opportunity to personally sort of be involved and work with him uh, on the Pakistan side. Um, and I think he was able to draw on a lot of the young leaders, which gave us a chance to, you know, play a role, uh, you know, in some of the diplomacy. And those were some areas which I think were very helpful and very rewarding.